Hello and welcome to Face Prep. It is two days to go to the TCS NQT. Well, in today's preparation strategy video, I have two pieces of advice for you. The first one is remember the concept of time management. This is a very, very important tool to cracking any online test. My second piece of advice, as a result of time management, the application that you need to do in TCS NQT is don't get stuck for too long in a single question. Okay, now why am I saying this? If you've been following our videos, all of our previous preparation strategy videos, you will know that highly likely the test is going to have a pattern where all questions are mandatory, which means you need to answer the first question to even see what is the next question, right? And you cannot go back and revisit a question. And so in this strategy, right, you need to do some amount of time management calculation beforehand. Okay, now what am I talking about? Take, for example, the numerical ability section. This is going to have 26 questions in 40 minutes, right? So if you actually do a time per question calculation here, you don't have more than 1.53 minutes per question, right? One and a half minutes per question. Right? Now, why am I talking about this number? Why is it important? You have 26 questions in the entire section. And because there is going to be no negative marking, you will stand a good chance only if you attempt all the questions first of all. That you should get as many questions right as possible. You should also attempt all the questions without fail. When there is no negative marking, that is your biggest strategy. So with this in mind, you should not get stuck for too long in one single question. So numerical, it's 1.53 minutes per question. If you take a look at reasoning ability, it's going to be 30 questions in 50 minutes, which is going to be 1.66 minutes per question. Again, a little more than one and a half minutes per question. Verbal ability you're going to be having 24 questions in 30 minutes, which is 1.25 minutes per question. In programming logic, you're going to be having 10 questions in 15 minutes, which means 1.5 minutes per question. And in coding, you're going to be having two questions, one for 15 minutes and the other for 30 minutes. Now, remember this time per question, right? Why is it important? Because if you get stuck for too long, far too long than at least this amount of time in a question, it's an alarm bell for you to possibly say, okay, this question, I'm not going to get it right. But let's try to answer the remaining questions because you have a greater shot of answering the remaining questions. We have seen this in action, the same mistake being made by a lot of people who took up the Infosys test. Very similar pattern. You remember all questions mandatory. You had to answer a question and then only see the next question. You also remember that a lot of you have taken the Infosys test. You would have said that sir, pseudo coding was very difficult. Puzzle was very difficult. Yes, some questions were difficult. Some questions were also easy. But the biggest mistake, which a lot of people did was they got stuck for too long in a difficult question. And by the time they were able to see the remaining question, the time ran out. So don't allow time to run out. Ensure that you mind the amount of time that you need to put in for every single question and don't get stuck for too long. Right? And one important last piece of advice which I'd like to give you apart from this is while you plan for time management, also ensure you plan for a lot of minor things. For example, getting ready for test day, ensuring that you have proper uninterrupted power supply, you have good internet connection, all those basic amenities with two days to go, this is the time that you ensure that you do all those things and get ready. All the best. Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Stay tuned to Facebook for more awesome videos. Don't forget to subscribe.